So here we are again back in Picasa and we're going to apply a watermark to our image. It is important that your image always contain a watermark um, and have the watermark displayed somewhere in the image where it cannot be cropped out. Um, again, people don't do it maliciously, but a lot of people will borrow an image and they will crop out your watermark. So here is our image open. I'm going to go up here to the wrench, click on text, and we can add text anywhere in the area. So we'll just start right here. This image was created in 2008, so I'm going to put the copyright signal symbol, which is Alt G, 2008, and my name. And then you can come over here to the left and you can change the font to anything that you want it to be. So I will go with, um, I think, American Typewriter. And I don't need it to be that big, so let's make it oh, an 18. Then I can play with an outline if I want. You can add an outline to it, which is uh, beneficial if your image doesn't have a lot of contrast. And then here you can play with the transparency. So I can have it pale, 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 and I can have it totally opaque. So I'm going to put it mm, just about halfway so I can still see it. And then I'm going to take my watermark and I am going to drag it right here into the middle of my picture. Now on that I think I'll decrease the transparency a little bit. Like that. And maybe move it down a bit. And you can always click on this little button here and you can turn it. Have it any which way you want. You can make it smaller, you can make it bigger. It's totally flexible. I'll just keep mine like that. And then go over and click apply. And that's it. Your image now has a watermark on it and all your tags on it. So when you go in and you export it for use on the web, your information will all be there. So um, that's how you add the watermark. If you do want to delete it, all you have to do is go in, click on it, take them all out, click apply, and they are gone. Now if you want to apply watermarks to images in a batch, you go in and select two pictures, open them up, and the same thing, you just go in, create text, I'll change this to this, I will change my text, I'll put a bit of an outline on it, maybe like that, and I want it to be pure. Oh, um, you know what? Let's do this one. I don't know, purple. Um, go in. Alt G for my copyright signal, 2008. My name. Actually, you know what? You can even put on your website. Kazamultimedia.com. And move it around. Again, you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, you can put it on a 90 degree angle, and just put it here on the corner. But I always do suggest that you keep it pretty much in the main part of your picture. Again, people don't mean to, but they will take the image. Not at least this way, if they are using it, they have your watermark, so you will get credit. And you click Apply. Back to Library. Oh, that didn't go. 